it's back to basics this video i'm going to show you how to make a staple of any kdp low content bookmakers library and that is graph paper now i have made the graph paper video before but this is going to be specifically for affinity publisher 2 and at the end of the video i'm going to show you some ways graph paper pads are used and how you can market them to target different audiences i regularly upload videos about kdp on the channel from niche research, keywords, how to make the books, income reports, and things like that. So if you want to stay up to date with the latest trends in KDP, please do subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out. That's enough chit chat, on with the video. Here we are in Affinity Publisher 2's Create a Document page. And as I've mentioned before, if you're using Affinity Publisher 2, I highly recommend that you create the KDP trim sizes as presets. And to do that, you simply select one already, change the details you need to whatever, and then click Save as Preset. And then you enter your name there. So I've already done that here. So here we have the page width and the page height. All the other settings, the margins, and the bleed. Now, all of this information is on the KDP trim guide. I will find that and link to it in the description. And then we'll click create. So, to make the graph paper, we are going to be using the table tool because it's the quickest and simplest way to create a page full of grids. And I'll work in the master pages. I'll just change this to single facing though. So now I'm just making one master page, which will be copied throughout the book to every page that has page A set as the master page. You can of course always have different, you know, different master pages to apply to different pages, but this is gonna be a book of graph paper identical throughout so the first thing to do in master page a is to select the table tool and i'm just going to drag out we'll just uh, just a small table will do it doesn't matter this is just what we're going to use to set up the sizes so select all the cells go to the table tool and then here we're going to make a couple of changes to the width and the height so generally graph paper is a quarter of an inch half an inch or three quarters of an inch grid we're going to do half inch and remember it doesn't matter whether you're working in millimeters or inches type in the number you want with the unit you you want to use and you know it'll convert so that was fine because it was in inches I could have just as well did it in centimeters which i think is like 1.27 centimeters and it would have converted to inches anyway there you go so yeah convert it to inches now we're going to grab this double arrow here and just pull it out to go at the end of the page and across the blade and we'll do the same here And that's it, that's your basic half inch graph paper. As easy as that. All you do now is add pages and add as many as you want. We'll see 100 pages. Master A, and there we have it. Every page identical. Now, what you can do to make this a little bit better is to include a secondary graph paper size in with this one. And that's quite simple to do. So again, we'll, we'll go into master page here. So the first thing I'm going to do is select the table and then control C, control V. And now we have another table directly on top. That's important just to make sure it lines up correctly. I'm going to lock the bottom layer that way it won't get affected by what we're going to do now. 
we won't be pulling it about and things like that. Then with the unlocked table selected, go back into the cell width area and type in 0.25. And 0.25 in the height so what that's essentially given us is another smaller square inside the larger square so each of these large squares has been divided into four and we'll just use the double arrows to drag this out now another thing we're going to do is again with the unlocked table selected we're going to go to the cell stroke and we're going to turn this down to 0.2 and that just makes it a little bit clearer when they were all the same line thickness it looked pretty clouded it looked pretty crowded now that that looks a little bit too it looks as if all the squares are the same size you can't see that there's when both tables are the same line thickness you can't tell that there's you know two different sizes of squares there it looks like it's all just a quarter of an inch so by changing this to point two it just makes it more apparent it also makes it look a little bit less daunting as well it's not as not as boring you know that all those uh, black lines and black squares you could also if you wanted change the line style entirely and make it into a dotted line again it just helps to break up the the monotony of seeing a load of squares all the same size so there you have it just a very simple way to make graph paper in two different sizes using the table tool they're very quick and easy to make and you can have these books as just pads of graph paper or you can use these graph paper pages in any of your notebooks or journals things like that it's always useful to have different styles of paper in the one pad and here are some examples of what you can use graph paper pads for this one here is just a standard graph paper pad not targeting anything in specific maths science engineer and drawing now in my mind you could make four different covers and talk at each one of those separately let's have a quick look inside and this one here now from what I read on the front cover it is centimeters so each of these larger squares is a centimeter and inside they have lines at the two mil so it's one centimeter squared and then two mil squared so each large square has 25 small ones inside and that's something you can do very easily by using the method I've just shown you and just changing the sizes from quarter inch to centimeters and millimeters but yep standard book but yep pretty standard next on the list is craft paper pad aimed at role players so this is quarter of an inch square grid dungeon map notebooker and they've got the keywords there cartographer rpg and this one even points out that it's full blade so edge to edge printing and here we go so the cover is it's a pretty basic cover you know there's nothing technically difficult about that but it gets the niche across it's a map there's the sizes on the square this is kind of shaped like a die but inside it's just your standard graph paper identical pages all the way through but it's targeting a different audience now there's no reason why this person wouldn't have this exact same interior and target the generic academic book like this and again there's no reason why this person couldn't use this interior and have it as a cartographer's book this next one is targeted at engineers specifically students 
mentioned there. Oh, I can't look inside, but it is just a graph paper for engineers, students and scientists. And I've got a picture of the Vitru Vitruvian man there on the front. Now this one's an interesting one. Again, unfortunately, we can't see inside. But it says here it's a 5x5 five five grid, which was similar to the first book we saw. So I can imagine it being 1 centimeter squares. And then in that 1 centimeter are 2 mil by 2 mil squares. And this one is targeted at architects. And this is a nice... It's a nice clean cover with a very good example of what it is. There's no denying or there's no ignoring the fact that this is aimed at uh, architecture planning or you know room mapping, something like that. But inside it's just going to be the same book as that one there. This one is another interesting one. Pixel art. This one's a five mil grid and it's targeted at those people who want to make you know, pixel art or you know recreate your favorite eight bit gaming characters bright cover but the interior is going to be page after page after page of grid this one is a little bit different it's a cross stitch graph paper pad obviously aimed at cross stitches or knitters embroidery needle workers that sort of crafty person and it's a little bit different because this has kind of got two tables side by side but that's easy to do you could have one table set up like this a narrow one two by however many that is and again if you set a centimeter and that's a centimeter and then these are going to be you know that your two mil squares and that's just simply using two different tables one for these larger squares very narrow one with the more compact squares quite tight and then they've got stitch camps across the top and the side and quite a nice front page plate so that was just a couple of ideas on how you can use craft paper the majority of them were all the same, just simple pads. This one's slightly different, being it was two tables, but easy to make. So that is it for today's video. Thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time. Mm -hmm.